Hi everyone, this is Sean. Welcome back to my channel. I am going to make this video as short as possible. I'm in one of my elaborate filming locations and it's probably 96 degrees in here with 30% humidity. It's hot. Hey, in today's video, I wanna talk about executive protection. How do you get into executive protection? How do you get into these elaborate tactical special assignments within your security division. So I was talking to another YouTube content creator offline, so to speak, and his goal is to work plainclothes executive protection. I want to kind of sort of guide them, guide him in that direction. And at the same time, this video is going to help those of you understand what it is that you need in order to get into this executive protection or the special assignment within your company or maybe another security company. And this is a non-traditional way. See, a lot of people think, you know what, I'm gonna just get out of the military or I'm gonna get out of law enforcement or I'm gonna take this like one week class or something like that. That does that does help, all that helps. Um, some of you might say, you know what, I'm gonna attend Randy's course, Randy from Veterans Global Private Security having a course sometime August, September, maybe the beginning of October. One of the class has filled up, by the way. But anyhow, um, you take the class, people think, well, I'm gonna get these elaborate jobs, these cool assignments. You guys are, all, you guys are doing it wrong. It just depends on who you know and the timing. So what I want you to do is find somebody that maybe you haven't spoken to that's in executive protection or in one of these elaborate um, specialized security teams. And you are going to be friends with this person. If you're not moving up and you're looking around and you're saying, you know what, the people that are around me have, and I hate to say this, lower skill level than I do. You're not going to move up. You're not going to move up unless maybe you're able to empower these people who have lower skill level than you. And I hate to say the word lower skill level because everybody has different skills, um, but that's just the way that some people might view themselves compared to other people. I don't care if you went through, you know, three weeks of executive protection school, um, special, force, special forces in the military, SWAT teams. If you're not likable, you're not gonna be getting into any of these special assignments. You, number one rule is you have to be likable. Approach one of these people and I want you to be able to compliment them and appreciate the type of work that they do. So you can always just say, hey, you know what? I heard that you're on this executive protection team. I had some questions about A, B, or C. Or, hey, how, do you, how did you get into one of these teams? But what I want you to do is have them just talk about themselves. A lot of these people who move up, a lot of them are type A personality people. They love to talk about themselves. Um, it's all about me, 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 me. And for some time, people just stop paying attention to them. And once they get that one person that's interested in what they're doing, they might gravitate towards that person. So that's what you want to do. That's what you want to do. So for me, before I got into our department's SWAT team, um, I was training with a nearby SWAT team and I would always just compliment them on what they're doing. And I would thank them every single time. Hey, thanks for, thanks for allowing us to train with you. Um, I would say tons of thank yous. Later on, every single month, okay, I'm invited to their training. And they want to form possibly a regional tactical team. I mean, it's not guaranteed because of the higher ups. Now, obviously, if it's just us making decisions, then there would be regional tact tactical team. But the thing is, I show interest and sh so should you. When you're meeting these people, I don't want you to say, hey, you know what, I completed this one week course, two week course. You don't talk about yourself. You show interest in that person. And then the second time comes around, show more interest until they start asking about you. See, there's gonna be a point in time where they're gonna say, wait a minute, this whole time, it's been about me, 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 me. Well, how about this person who's asking me these questions? I'm a little bit more curious about them and their background, and that's how you slowly get in. Even if you have no training, you have no experience, 
if you are likable, this person will help guide you into the team. Okay. Um, what I'm learning with one of the most elite SWAT teams out there, uh, Bortac, LAPD, um, LAPD SWAT, one of the most elite tactical teams out there. How do you get in? Well, there's obviously a testing process and then there's a team evaluation where they basically talk to your supervisors. They talk to your, talk to the officers who you work with at L LAPD, but there's a peer screening process that's involved. But I'll say this, if you get one of the SWAT team members to train with you, okay, off duty on their own time, okay, that person is communicating with their command staff that you're be a, you'll be a good fit. You still need a lot more training, but you're very easy to work with and you're very humble. Those are the guys that get into the, these tactical, tactical teams. And I'm just mentioning LAPD SWAT. Most people who are watching this video are not law enforcement, but I'm just showing you how you can get into a, an elite squad, an elite group of professionals by just showing interest in other people. You guys are doing it completely wrong. And if you're saying, no, I'm not doing it completely wrong, if you're not in this special assignment or this tactical division that you wanna be in, or the special division you wanna be in, well, you've been doing it wrong. Okay, you have to show interest in other people. And that's what I do out there. Hey, that's a, that's, that's a pretty neat um, a drone. That, that's a neat drone that you have there. Can you show me what it can do? Show a lot of interest. Day two, like, hey, you know what? Can you, I don't know, can you can you fly the drone into a building real quick and then come out um, hover I don't know 200 feet above this school now you're just trying to make conversation third time fourth time around that person might okay might allow you to fly that drone but again you got to show interest in that person that's how you're going to get into these executive protection teams if you don't have anybody to connect to with these special assignments, you're probably in the wrong place. Okay, you, you gotta be where these people are at. Um, I talked to a Marine Corps recruiter and he told me how he would recruit Marines. And it was pretty interesting. He would meet them in the bar. He would meet them in the bar and hook them up with dates. And that's how he's able to get his enlistment up. That that's that worked for him. The discussion was not about the Marines. Um, it was not about the recruiter himself. Okay, but it was rather he was interested in that individual. Just something to think about. Looking forward to the dialogue. Working. Looking forward to the conversation.